This was what started it all, 1977. As a 12 year old kid seeing this, it was so inspiring. I marveled at how this could be achieved. In short order, information came about the behind the scenes of how some of this was done. I was fascinated by the idea of motion control. It was John Dykstra and Richard Edlin who were the fathers of this new and fascinating idea of how to do this photographic effects work. But I always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to build a motion control system, like the one used to produce the kind of work seen in Star Wars. I understood the technology on the surface, but had little to no practical knowledge of how to do this. But it did have drive and desire. It actually started out with an experiment to see if I could replicate the slit scan effect from 2001, if for no other reason to teach myself how to do it. I made two videos about that. One was an all manual procedure, and then adding an Arduino, I automated the process. What I learned from that experience was all that was needed to go forward and build my own motion control system. So I did, and I made a video about that as well. Some of you may have seen it. The first iteration was fairly basic. Slide, truck, mast, up and down, boom, in and out, pan, tilt, and focus control. Then over time, I added and updated to the rig with the ability to rotate the mast, which necessitated stiffening the mast quite a bit and the addition of a beefy slew or crossed roller bearing. And after having used this system a bit, it became clear that I needed to add camera roll to the equation, especially if you want to level the camera and of course do any of those really cool rotation type moves. This is what led me to the Dykes Reflex head design. I went through many, many design iterations only to come back to kind of where it all started as that design had the necessary compactness and clearance to do what I was trying to achieve. Believe it or not, one of the most difficult aspects of this upgrade was getting the follow focus sorted. So we needed to do a little rethink. A regular back to the drawing board moment, as I completely forgot to include it in my design workup. 